All right, hello everyone and welcome to Big Pharma. This is our second video on Big Pharma. We did a quick overview first. We are still in the same scenario and we're going to continue our gameplay uh, from the last episode. So yeah, we are in the Lost My Appetite scenario where we have to supply 300 appetite suppressant treatments. Um, we are not really thinking about completing that objective just yet. We're just in the starting phases of setting up our factory here so yeah let's see every, every time i start up um, big pharma again i just have to get myself acquainted again with the medicine that we had going on so let's do that now we've got a treats diabetes let's see that's here uh no it's actually here treats diabetes right we've got treats diabetes we've also got relieves hypertension from this bio biodegradable Django Stein quartz. And we've got the grub grub smoke, right? That's true as well. Um, which prevents gout. All right, let's take a quick look at our explorers. We've got one explorer free, it seems. And one explorer just exploring for skin medication. Or there's ingredients that we can use for skin medication. So that would be great. After that, we'll probably use this other explorer to... I think this one is free. Or is it just the one that's already assigned here? Hmm, don't know, we'll see. Um, and we'll hire two at least to uh, search for infection medication probably. Something else that's more interesting, relaxants and digestion. Let's look at the cures here. Which cures are in high demand? Painkiller, not so much, antidepressant. Yeah, infections it's, is at uh, 105. Sexual health is at 108. 8%. So we'll probably do one of these. Uh, infection or sexual health. Uh, let's see. Uh, relaxants, infection. Yeah, it's going to be the sting weevil. Uh, which we'll uh, search for next. Actually, would it be a good idea to try and get that now? Uh... Yeah, let's do it. I want to get to this quickly. Uh, how about skin medication? Let's uh, look for that first. Uh, where is it? Pain skin. It's only 93%, so it would probably be better to first research infection. So yeah, let's do that. Um, how's our research doing? Just quickly getting up to date. Right, we were researching basic auxiliary on our way to analyzer. Which we will need to find a sweet spot for our ingredients. The point at which they are most efficient. Okay, we've got company here. Our medicine aren't doing all that well, but we are making a profit, which is fine. Competitor, Gamma Group. Also, Q ratings of C, so nothing special there. So, yeah. Um, and I think we had just upgraded our first uh, ingredients to make it... Let's see, prevents gout. So this is not an upgraded ingredient. Treats diabetes. Treats diabetes. Release hypertension. Just looking where this is going. Release hypertension. So we don't have an upgraded uh, supply line just yet. Might be great to have a look at that. This one needs a catalyst, which we don't have yet. That's a certain characteristic of medicine, of ingredients rather. And I think, yeah, uh, the infection medication from the Sting Weevil actually contains one of these catalysts that we might need to upgrade other medicine. Uh, we'll get to that later, but you need a multi-mixer in order to bring that catalyst into the ingredient that you want to upgrade. So yeah, we'll take a look at that when we get there. First, let's see if we can find a medicine that we want to upgrade. Right. Hypothyroidism, I think that was what we were t looking at. Um, so that is, let's see what the demand for that is. Hypothyroidism, 98%, which is fine. Only need the ionizer for that. Um, I think we have that researched, if I'm right. Yes, we do. So I think that's a good option for now. Let's see if we can, which was it again? 
upgrade the ferrox cyanide gas to uh, cure hypothyroidism. Yeah, okay. And could we do this on this plot of land? If not, we'll just buy this plot of land, I think. Um, or perhaps... I think we'll buy this one. Because that means that we can fill up this space and go over there. Let's do that. Because we're going to need some more space. Because we want to upgrade one of our ingredients. So yeah. Uh, let's set this to import the ferric cyanide gas. Let's see. Prerequisite requirements. So it's a... Uh, we need a concentration of two, 10 and 12, and it's at 7 now, so we'll need to increase it by 3, and then we will need to upgrade it, upgrade it with an ionizer. So, let's see. Increase concentration by 3, agglomerator. All right, I wanted to zoom in, but you can't actually do that once you have a machine selected. Because it rotates the machine in that case, which is fine. Okay, let's try and make this uh, as efficient as possible. Here we go. That's not efficient. Right. So, now it comes in. It increases this to uh, 10. Concentration to 10. Um, and after that, we will need an ionizer to upgrade. actually upgrade the ingredient. Ooh, fits nicely. Great. Uh, yeah, so let's see what happens. Usually I like to um, actually do an analysis for that medicine after after I've upgraded it to see where I need to, need to go with the spe sweet spot. But we don't have the analyzer yet, so we'll just have to play it by ear and sort of guess where the sweet spot might be. Here we go. And now you'll see it change to Cures Hypothyroidism. And this is actually quite nice because it means that we can increase it as such that it doesn't that the ingredient doesn't actually cause sleepiness anymore. Although we would need let's see, we need an agglomerator to bring it up to ten, and then another agglomerator to bring it up to thirteen. And at that point it still includes Sleepiness, so we could go for a dissolver. No, an evaporator to increase it by one more, but of course our profit will suffer. But I think that might still be the way to go because an uh, evaporator is it's not all that expensive. So let's see. Agglomerator increases uh, concentration. Yeah. And I think these are best placed like this. So as to create a sort of fan pattern. No, we don't. We actually need it only two. So here we go. Ooh, bit glitchy there. Uh, should be fine. And so now it will be at 13, I think. It's now at 10, so... No, it's... Wait a second. It's at 7 because it's down decreased. So actually... Even though this ionizer upgraded the ingredient, it also decreased the concentration by three. I did not know that. I think I, in the last episode, I actually said something else about that, which was incorrect, it seems. Because it's 10 here, and then it's down to seven here. Let's just quickly let it play to see what comes on the belt here. Yeah, it's at, it's at seven. Current profit is minus 105, but we will be making more profit because it's a second uh, tier ingredient so 7 to 10 from here and then to 13 from this agglomerator which will bring it into active range for cures hypothyroidism am i right yes i am yeah i think i want to upgrade it by one more just to uh, alleviate this side effect there increases concentration how about this and then all the way over here to create our two pill makers, printers. I mean, who cares? Let's place them close to the wall just to leave ourselves some space for other stuff here. And there we go. Okay, so let's uh, let it run and see what happens. We're at minus 243 now. 
So let's hope that this drug will start making us some profit. Meanwhile, we are also still researching the new ingredient. We are at 12% now, 14. So it's not going all that quickly. Let's speed it up a bit using the shortcut buttons, uh, Z, X, and C. As you can see, belts are moving a bit more quickly now. And let's see what happens. Yeah, we are in the active range and we do not have prompt sleepiness, so this should be ideal. Current profit is 107. So that's great. Yeah, I think this uh, should do well for us. Product name required. Let's pause the game and dense and hypothyroidism ease. Sounds good to me. And let's see how our profit will be going up. Now, if we are lucky, the um, sweet spot for this medicine is actually at 14 or 15, which would mean that we are currently close to or at its ma maximum strength and will bring up the value of this medicine massively. And actually, we are only at minus 70 now, so that's great. So this medicine is uh, doing well for us. Let's uh, have a look at the company overview. As you can see, it's blue, with me, which means I think that it's a second level drug and it actually has no side effects, so that's great. Current profit is a lot higher than our other, other uh, medicine. So let's hope that this will go up. Currently we have slowed eight thyroids out of 17 administered uh, drugs so it's probably we are probably not on the sweet spot but we'll see let's take a look at our research really want to get to the uh, an analyzer so let's see if there's any other medicine that we can upgrade our factory is starting to look like uh, something at least let's see what there's not a lot of space to work with here so we'll have to keep that in mind um, Eventually, we want to get to the uh, appetizer uh, suppressant. Suppressant. So we now we don't have the comms acid reflux ingredient yet. I think so. It's a uh, digestion. Let's take a look. Um, diabetes. Digestion. So. I think it would make sense to actually try and research this ingredient even before this spotted nipple worth. Let's hire another explorer so that we will start accumulating some extra ingredient upgrade points, which we can spend to lower the cost for in importing our ingredients. And after that, we will use those three explorers to research the dragon beetle and get ourselves started on the appetite suppressants for the next episode. Uh, for now, I don't think there's any more profit that we can make from these. We can upgrade this to treat Angia, which is actually quite easy. We only need to drop it by drop concentration by one. How is Angia currently doing? Uh, cures. Mm, treat Angia only eighty six percent. That's very low, but I think we might as well do it. There's nothing else we can currently do, so what the hell, right? Uh, so let's import it from here. And drop it by one. We are actually in minus now. Uh, I think what we might want to do is take out this loan, repay this loan, and we should be fine. Uh, that's always sound financial advice. Take out another loan to pay the previous loan. Of course, that's not what you would normally want to do, I think. Um, let's see. Let's drop the concentration by one. Hmm. Yeah, let's go up. It's fine. And then we would need a ionizer. Ah, uh, that's not correct. You can just double click to move it around. So it's no biggie. There we go. Let's see what happens. Research complete. Research complete, so that's great. We've got basic auxiliary, which means that we can now start analyze uh, researching the analyzer. We only need one researcher for that, and it's only taking us one month. 
So that's great. And uh, let's see. I think we will start researching the multi mixer after that. We'll just uh, leave one to get ourselves some research upgrade points. New ingredient discovered. Right, new ingredient ready to go. Let's first take a look at the treats Angia. Again, we can bring this to such a concentration that we no longer have dry mouth in here. Actually, though, we might want to wait and analyze this ingredient first and see what happens. I don't know. Um, what's the current profit here? Minus 45. And would, would bring, have to bring it up by at least three, at least to start selling this product. I would rather bring it up by even more. Let's see, three. And then that would bring us to six. Another three would bring up to nine, but that would still be in active range of, yeah, it's going to cost too much to get rid of dry mouth, I think. Let's just bring it up by three and start selling it. We'll see what happens. You can at least start, hopefully start making a profit and we'll try and upgrade this chain once we have enough money and once we have analyzed the ingredients here. Let's just quickly uh, get this up and running and then... Uh, We'll wrap up this episode. Hope you guys like this uh, sort of playthrough of this uh, scenario here. Uh, feel free to leave uh, comments and uh, leave some feedback. I'll be sure to read all your comments and uh, do something with them. Uh, right, new ingredient. Almost forgot. We've got the uh, Soothes Cold Symptoms. Which was in high demand, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I guess we'll take a look at that in the ne next episode. Uh, it's looking like we can at least get it into range for soothe cold symptoms and only cause dizziness. We could actually lower it by one and then we wouldn't have any side effects at all. Am I right? I think I am. Bringing it up to... Uh, 10? Yeah. Very interesting. So that could probably uh, be a highly profitable thing for us. Uh, let's quickly start researching the dragon beetle. Oh, oops. One too many. Oh well. Uh, that's fine. We'll just have uh, some ingredient points coming in in the background. I'll just uh, let this run and then uh, we'll see what this uh, medicine will bring us in. It's at 140 currently, which is great. It's a short chain, so that helps, but we do have dry mouth in there, Product so. Name required. Then is an Angia Suitor. Simplicity, again. And there we go. Another medicine on the market. Right, so. Um, right, let's wrap this up here. Uh, thank you guys for watching this uh, episode. Um, if you like the, uh, the video, please leave a like uh, and a comment. And if you like the channel, please be sure to subscribe. That would help me out a lot. And we are actually in the positive numbers here. So that's great. Right, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.